My name is Matt and I've recently acquired a 60 foot ocean racing sailboat that used to be known as Duracell. I plan to uh, turn this boat into a comfortable, fast cruising boat. This is the legendary ocean racing sailing yacht Duracell. It set the American record for single-handed non-stop circumnavigation of the planet in 1989 during the first Vendée Globe. It was built and raced by legendary sailor Mike Plant. And between 1994 and 2021, it sat in this yard outside Seattle. It sat here for 25 years until its owner generously gave it to me in the summer of 2021. About 10 more feet, keep coming, keep coming, five more feet, Stop. easy, stop. I am determined to bring it back to life as a fast and comfortable cruising home. Short tour, I guess. So, cockpit, this is like where they pretty much lived uh, while they were racing the boat offshore sink and there was a little gibbled stove there. There's a microwave. Get all the way in there. The nice thing about a project like this is that it's kind of a clean slate. All of this will come out including the doghouse will come off, the pot will come out, we'll move the bulkheads, we'll be cutting down the water ballast tanks, and we'll be building an interior. This is just the beginning. When I got the boat, it had all the original wiring, electronics, plumbing, uh, batteries, tanks. Engines were still in it. Um, lots of sails and um, rigging, hardware, all kinds of stuff on the deck that needed to be removed from the boat. In the interior of the, of the boat, it was a lot of wiring um, and plumbing mostly that had to come out. There was a whole DC distribution panel. I pulled two engines out of the boat and I built a gantry to do this. Then I built a shed in time for winter.
I built and installed a new bulkhead. This was the first step in building a new pilot house and redesigning the layout for Duracell. That's beautiful. Nice. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Scott and I glued and taped with fiberglass the bulkheads to the boat. Moving right along with the project, uh, we've got the new bulkhead uh, built and taped into the boat. And the next step is to cut off the doghouse and cut out the main bulkhead. It's uh, very exciting to do because it's um, we're going to be changing the look of the boat and creating a lot more space inside the boat. I've been thinking about this step in the project for years because I know what it will do to the look of the boat. I've thought a lot about Mike Plant and John spinning many thousands of miles in this pod, traversing oceans and weathering storms. Duracell is not going to be used like they used it anymore, as a circumnavigating racehorse. This is the point in the project where the boat becomes our own. We have installed the new bulkhead and that means that that new bulkhead is providing the structure in the boat for me to be able to cut out the old bulkhead. The next thing to do is to start thinking about building the new doghouse. First I mocked up the new doghouse. I do this to make sure that I like the shape that I had drawn on paper. The doghouse design gives the interior of the boat an open layout. The galley will have high ceilings, the benches will be above the water, and there will be lots of windows to see to get lots of light in. When the mock-up was done, it was time to start building the panels for the doghouse out of fiberglass and foam.
Once the epoxy had cured, I could use my templates to trace out the shape onto the panels, and then I could cut out the shapes, including the windows, uh, to make the doghouse sides. Scott comes over about once a week to give me a hand uh, working on the boat. I'm not sure if it's because he feels sorry for me or because he actually enjoys the work, but it makes everything go so much faster and it's a lot more fun working with somebody. Here we're taping the outside of the doghouse to the deck of the boat. So this week I decided to work on the deck beams for the uh, doghouse. Uh, the deck beams are going to be what support the roof of the doghouse. I made three smaller, more narrow deck beams after the first two that I made. These would be kind of intermediate beams that would go between the bigger ones and just add more support to the deck. Then I built the doghouse roof, which took two attempts to get right. This was doghouse roof attempt number two. How's it look? It looks perfect. It looks exactly how it should. And it's uh, hard and um, I'm excited. It's like opening a Christmas present, taking a part of Big Vacuum Bag Project. <laughs> High five, honey. We are laminating the top of the doghouse, so I'm really excited to have all my friends here to help give me a hand. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll take one. So I'm laminating the uh, other side of the traveler bulkhead. Uh, these first uh, laminations are just to kind of give the bulkhead some extra stiffness and to like get a, like a base layer um, to build on top of uh, for the rest of the laminations. Because since the traveler is on top of it, this has to be a really, really, really strong piece. I needed to glue an aluminum bar to the top of the bulkhead and I'll get to the purpose of this aluminum bar later. But the bar is two inches wide and the foam is one inch so I cut foam fairings so the fiberglass can cleanly lay around the top of the bulkhead. And I shaped them with a router and grinder so there were no hard edges or corners. Obviously this part is going to be built with fiberglass and epoxy just like the rest of my project and vacuum bagged as well. I have to do this in three laminations because there's so much fiberglass going into this part. And this is the first of the three laminations that, I'm, that I'll be doing. I added more layers to the Traveler bulkhead because this part has to be able to sustain a lot of load from the main sheet, up to 24,000 pounds. Then it was time to mock up the windscreen and then I built it with fiberglass and foam.
Fits so nicely. Cool. Finally, the windows and doors were cut out. And we stood back and saw that the doghouse was finally coming together. It's a little house on a boat. Like three inches. There's still this remaining deck that's on the inside of the boat uh, or inside of the doghouse, and it's now that I have the sides of the doghouse and the windscreen all taped to the boat on the outside, I can go ahead and cut the the rest of this ledge off all the way around. It's gonna have to size off.